Hello and a warm welcome to News Across Nigeria, where we show and tell you what's happening across the 36 states of the Nigerian Federation. I am Olumide Macaulay. On today's edition... In the Northwest, the Kaduna State Government lays foundation for a modern shopping mall, creating over 2,000 jobs. And the Benue State Government summons the Department of Petroleum Resources over the fuel shortage in the state. While the Edo State Government takes its task up on the environment, saying, leave the streets. We begin in the northwestern part of the country, where the federal government's target of providing affordable housing units for Nigerians seems to have been keyed into by the Kaduna state government, which has begun constructing 2,000 units for its citizens. The Kaduna state governor, Nasser El Rufai, in company of the vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, also laid the foundation for an ultra-modern shopping mall estimated to provide over 2,000 direct jobs into the state. A matter of national importance is taking place in Kaduna State. Important enough to have the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibanjo, present. It's the groundbreaking of several projects that will provide employment for thousands of people and shelter for many more. First, the Vice President is led by Governor Nasir El Rufai to the proposed site of a 2,000 housing unit project. Shelter is the objective, and both men are of the same opinion that the comfort of the people is paramount. See, our goal over the next four years is to build at least 20,000 housing units in our urban areas to reduce the pressure and housing deficit in our state. One of the most important initiatives is housing. And this is, as uh, the government has said, only the beginning. We are still looking at 20,000 uh, more housing units. That will be a radical revolution indeed in housing, not just in Kaduna State, but in the whole of Nigeria. Next, the party moves to the site of an ultra-modern shopping mall. The governor speaks on the positives of the project. The mall will raise the game in retail, provide modern cinemas for our people, and promote linkages with our farmers and suppliers. That is the manner in which the malls that retail giants occupy tend to become centers of much tangible and intangible economic activity. The focus of the federal government is to ensure that the welfare of Nigerians is adequately taken care of. It is possible for government to meet the needs of the people. But government is not just about going around the place in motorcades and um, looking important. But government is serving the people. An encouraging start to the year for Kaduna State. But the end result will be much better when it reaches the true beneficiaries, the people. We welcome the Vice President of the Federal Republic. From the Northwest to the North Central, the Benue State House of Assembly has passed a resolution inviting the controller of the Department of Petroleum Resources in the state to explain the reason for the acute fuel shortage across the state. For some time now, residents have been lamenting the long queues at petrol stations and the activities of black marketers who sometimes sell the product for as high as 200 naira per liter. Traffic on the Lafia Makurdi Federal Highway in Benue State. Caused by commuters queuing up for fuel. The situation has been like this for days, obstructing movement on the highway. Even this yeah, marketer, who says he's the only one willing to sell petrol, is tired of it all. 
So most people that are selling shut down because of the control in price. And they don't want to sell 86 Naira just as the government gives directives. So that's the challenges that we have right now. The situation has attracted the attention of the State House of Assembly, which decides to investigate the matter. The House do invite the controller the Department of Petroleum Resources, DP and Makudito, to the House. Yes, why petroleum has continued to remain unavailable in Bono State, why it is always available in nearby national state, which is under the control of DP and Makudito. Is that taken? And so? The controller, Department of Petroleum Resources, Benry State, is summoned. The State House of Assembly also asked the governor of the state, Samuel Orton, to disband the state task force and reconstitute a new fuel monitoring committee. That's in the north central. In the southeast, the Imo state government is also trying to intervene in the fuel shortage, which has also affected them. Please stay with us.